guitar lesson, I'm gonna show y'all some country drop D riffs. And then I'll show y'all how you can use these riffs in an actual song type of situation. So very useful lesson. I'm gonna get y'all that dirty country, powerful drop D, and bluesy country sound. We're gonna start out with the more intermediate riffs that you just heard a sample of right there. After that, I'll show you some easier drop D riffs for the newer guitar players. And after we learn the riffs, we will add them to a chord progression that's in the style of Travis Tritt. It's gonna be in drop D. We'll get some practice using the riffs. And we'll also have a full length jam track here at countryguitaronline.com. So overall, just really great lesson. I uh, hope you all like it. And let's get to it. Let's learn these riffs first, and then we'll just go from there. So here's the first intermediate drop D riff we're gonna go over. Let me play through this a few times. You can get a good feel for it, and then I'll give you all some quick pointers. So here's the second intermediate drop D riff. Take a listen. Do that a couple more times. That's a pretty cool riff right there. We've got a nice triplet in the second measure. Triplet, right there, triplet. And if you're newer to playing triplets, a triplet is just when you take three notes and you cram them in the space where you normally have two notes. So if you look at the tablature right here, this is actually an eighth note triplet because if you look at that second measure um, we got the very first two notes that's a grouping of two eighth notes but then we have that triplet so normally we'd have another grouping of two eighth notes but we're just replacing it with three notes so instead of counting the one and two and instead of saying the two and right there for two eighth notes we're going to do one and triple it three and four and. So that's how we'll count measure two. 
one and triple it three and four and one and triple it three and four and so I just keep that in mind.